55, a teen accused of killing a Duval High School student has his day in court. It was a day a year ago this, excuse me, one week ago that Jana Madrano Moore was shot and killed after leaving school. Today, a judge ordered her alleged killer to stay in jail without bond. Our Lili Zhang live from Prince George's County at the courthouse there with more details on what was said in court today. Lili? Well, Jacqueline, Jim, this has been an emotional day for both the families of Jada Madrano Moore as well as the suspects. We heard from his attorney for the first time today. The guy, we just got retained by his parents, and we will make sure that he gets his day in court and justice is done in a way that's fair. But we are pained and we are saddened by yet another death in our county. That is Gabriel Christian, who is representing the suspect. Now, he argued in court today the 17-year-old should have gotten home detention rather than staying in jail. Christian pointed to things like his age, the fact that he has no criminal record, adding that since this case is still in its early stages, there is no evidence tying his client to the shooting on Palomar Drive. That is where prosecutors say Jada Madrano Moore came across two groups of people last Monday. Those groups were in some kind of fight that she apparently tried to break up. Our investigation was that um, this young girl was pistol whipped and um, the gun was placed to her head and she was shot point blank. We do not feel as though this was an accident. So um, we will be proceeding with first degree murder charges unless we see something different. As of right now, the suspect will remain in county jail. He is scheduled for a preliminary hearing on October 16th. Jacqueline, Jim.